Please welcome Rosalind Kahn. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We are here at Chow Entertainment KXLA. Our next guest today is Mr. Frederick Grendon at the mere age of 11. He started out as an entrepreneur and he hasn't quit yet. He's now helping everyday average people go ahead and make their money too. Watch out for his great tips on helping you to make money. Thank you. Hi, this is Rosalind Khan. Welcome to KXLA, Living Your Best Life with Chow Entertainment. It's such an honor and privilege to hear. Have us with us, Frederick Grinrin. Frederick, tell us a little bit about your credentials. Well, I, I started at a very young age, you know, started my first business at age 11. I quickly went into focusing my attention on sports after selling that company. Got an amazing full ride scholarship, changed over from Stanford to being driven by the Holy Spirit, telling me I'm supposed to be going to Colorado, which I'd never even really heard of, but took a trip there, fell in love with the Christian coaches. And even though they were part of the big two at the time and the big eight, we went on to go to back-to-back -back national championships, winning the national championship. And it was just a, a stellar thing. I'm going to go back and go back to 11 years old. What did you do at 11 years old that was far above other people? What kind of business was that? And how did that shape what you're doing here today? Well, I, I, I literally... Uh, moved from a ranch out in the middle of nowhere where we never got paid for our labor and, you know, had so many animals on so much acreage and just we grew all of our own fruits, vegetables and everything else. And when I came to the big city of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, uh, with 25,000 people at that time, I started Green Thumb Grundens and I used, uh, you know, it's landscape architect design and, and maintenance and things like that. The slogan was responsible labor for responsible wages. I mean, I was going to charge you proper wages for the kind of work that we were doing. But I put an ad in that started with saying, uh, willing to mow your lawn or rototill your garden for free once, you know, just to show you what we can do. Uh, first come, first serve. I put that in the weekly penny saver type magazine called the Nicholsworth up there. Yeah. Blew up the phone so much. There was no automated voicemails when I was in 1982, 11 years old. So I was just taking phone calls, putting pins on maps. And the next week I had to put an ad in that said new company has to hire too many customers and must have own equipment and all that kind of thing and had a bunch of adults show up. I was going to give them 75% uh, of the $12 an hour I was billing out for. The first man that came, he interrupted me when he shouldn't have. Uh, when I said, yeah, I'm going to be doing the marketing. You guys are going to be doing the work and I'm going to be splitting it with you. And I said, I'm going to split that $12 with you. And he assumed split meant 50-50. And he says, oh, wow, $6 an hour. In 1982, for labor like that was a good wage. And he says, done. And I go, yeah, okay, $6 an hour. And everybody that came in after that was a split 50-50. And that's how I grew my incredible business that I ran all the way through until high school. And I ended up selling it. So wow, my biggest thing that we've done in life was started and ran the largest accredited only investor group in the world, which coming from my very – Poor ranch background in northern Idaho was a new change for me where we could only serve people in the United States that were already millionaires, excluding the value of their main home. So these are the elite of the country. I felt amazingly privileged to serve these people, grow their money massively, becoming a person over $110 million net worth at age 32 because of that feat. But I felt bad about not just the people in Idaho that I was friends with that Many people around the country and my, eventually my hometown of Los Angeles that I could not help that weren't already millionaires. So that's what I've done in the past. I gave that whole operation up to focus on being able to help the masses and create a, and be a part of creating a currency that we could allow people to use cryptocurrency at the actual end retail, meaning at Macy's, at Walmart, on Amazon. And our company that I'm a, one of the largest investors in has become the fastest company in the world's history to break that trillion dollar market cap level. And it became the first company in the world's history to get to a three trillion dollar market cap level. Thank you for your interest in In Flight USA and our newest publication, Biz Avjets USA. We serve general and business aviation throughout the US. For more information on submitting articles or advertising in our publications, visit inflightusa.com. Thank you.
Suli Wirakuri, CEO of the Lighthouse Organization. We are driven by a single goal, and that is to help domestic violence victims. Remember, a victim can be your neighbor, a friend, or a family member. We are here to support all these victims who are suffering in silence. If you would like to donate to our cause, you can go into our website, www.thelighthouseorg.net. Thank you. Biz Abjets USA Magazine is a new publication to the business aviation industry. And business aviation is a growing and thriving industry. We plan to bring you all the latest trends and news. We also plan to bring you new information about new airframes, systems, and interiors to market. Feel free to visit bizabjetsusa.com. KXLA. Today we're excited to be right here in beautiful Los Feliz Park and let's give it away to Mr. Paul Maselli. I ran into this rock star but really what hit my heart was this guy's connection to nonprofit, something I loved and adored for many years. Can you tell us how you got involved in the nonprofit world? What is that story all about besides being a rock star man? Well I've got these two nonprofits. One's called GlobalArtistsForHumanRights.com and the other one is solveworldhunger.us. I thought us was appropriate. And I got into that because I'm you know, a humanitarian. I became aware that there's 30 human rights. Who knew? Couldn't name them. So we've got a booklet and a website with videos that go over all these things. And being a music performer, as I've performed around the world, it's great to have a good time, but I also like to have a purpose. I notice when you have a purpose behind what you're doing with a good message, there's no better feeling than rocking out and good things to share, you know. That's lovely. I really love that. Was there also some, some work that you had done with Eli Musk that, that had inspired you? Well, I thought, uh, oh, I need a good tweet from Elon Musk because I got the Global Artist for Human Rights going. And then the next day he put out a tweet I'll donate six billion dollars to solve world hunger if you can show me a proper accounting if the money's actually going to something useful. And I thought, wow, I need to retweet and reach him. But then there's my next nonprofit, Solve World Hunger, because that's a subdivision of the 30 human rights. Like, you know, there's right to education, right to basically social services, help when you need it. And there's 25,000 people a day dying of starvation, 10,000 of them kids. It's like, no, why? That shouldn't be happening. That should be an easy problem to fix. And it turns out the planet and the earth and the cows and everything else and the birds have a natural solution for farming and food and all this kind of stuff. So we need to raise awareness on all of this. And I've got orchestra concerts and planning with celebrity guests and my own hit song about to come out and this kind of thing. We want to take these concerts worldwide and raise awareness, like Live Aid from back oh, in 1986. They, they were targeting uh, Ethiopia and starvation, but I thought this is... Senior Care Authority is a one-stop solution for helping you locate senior living options. We understand the care, the costs and the safety records of hundreds of communities, from assisted living and memory care to independent living and even skilled nursing. We help families cut through the complexity to make courageous, informed decisions under difficult circumstances. Hey, are you looking to get blinged out? Well, look no further. Boss Lady Bling Blingy have all the bling you need. You can find us online at Lady Blingy 4 on IG or Lady Blingy on Facebook or www.BossLadyBlingBlingy here in sunny San Diego at 2031 Commercial Street, San Diego, California. Call us at 619-617-4586. Welcome back. Thank you so much to Paul Masoli. Next up, I've got an even more spectacular guest. This is Rosalind Khan with Living Your Best Life. Our next guest is Mr. William E. Bales, who's the head of IT taking this world by storm. He's also part of the Hollywood Stars Network. Let's give it up to William Bales. 
Say hello to the audience here, William. Hello, everybody. It's so great to have you here today. Today we brought William on our show today to talk to us about the world of technology. He is a man who's been in technology for quite a while, and I want to know the history. How did you get started here in the world of technology? Well, it started about well, when I was about 16 years old and back in the days when CB radios and tubes for televisions were out and about. I uh, was highly interested in the electronic world and I got involved uh, back in the early 70, uh, 75, 79 era and then when Windows came out, uh, it kind of switched over to the software industry and uh, I enjoyed uh, uh, being in the electronic industry and I've just stayed in it all my life. What are some of the biggest changes and transformations you've seen over the years? Well, some of them has gone from uh, the analog digital world to the digital world, and uh, pretty soon we are moving into the direction of the quantum world. That's what we're bringing out. And uh, when the quantum world comes out, it's gonna be a high security uh, information uh, uh, stopper. So um, it's gonna definitely pick up the pace for stopping hacking and, and uh, you know viruses and things of that nature. So it's, it's uh, some of the biggest things that uh, come out here today is uh, being able to be prepared for it and understand what's happening. What are some of the things that you could say that we could do to safeguard our material in today's world? I, I would say the best thing that you could do is be aware of what you, uh, what you know. Do your own research, do your due diligence behind the product that you want to sit there and learn about. Um, software design is basically made from the human experience and if you are um, someone who is working for one company and then leaves and goes to another company they bring the knowledge of what they did with the prior company with them so make sure that the people that you're talking to make sure that you understand what their backgrounds are and how well they're doing their job to secure your information and so I would say the best way to protect yourself is to make sure that you are aware of what's coming. Um, do your due diligence in your research about a product and uh, ask every question you can. Fantastic. Now, you also are part of an organization called the Stars of Hollywood. Where did that all come about from? Stars of the Hollywood Network came out 20 years ago. It was a, it was a uh, development process that I wanted to come back and build something for the Hollywood industry. Um, it is uh, basically, uh, it came out to be the, one, the first uh, world's largest online museum of all the actors and producers and directors from around the globe in every country. It's uh, being represented in 3D in what they call the Metaverse uh, Arena. Um, this has been a 20 year project that's going to be uh, hopefully launched this later on this year. Uh, we get the financial backing and everything to get the infrastructure into place. We'll be happy with that. Uh, we're, in, uh, we're definitely going to be bringing uh, people like uh, the, the, the tapestry, uh, the Project Tapestry uh, Network here and uh, humanity and, and cryptocurrencies and things of that nature along with this. Um, but the number one uh, thing that's going to be doing this is the quantum technology that I had created and developed 20 years ago. And uh, we're going to be bringing that to the forefront. Fantastic. Now, if there was a message you wanted to share with humanity, I really love those groups of people that memorizing the people in Hollywood and what they're all about. But if there's one message you had to the world that most people wouldn't know about you, and this is your last message you'd say humanity, what kind of information would you want to share with the people? It's about to get to the best part of life. And uh, when you start to secure the world with uh, quantum technology, um, it makes everything easier. It breaks down the hacking ability. It it's literally stops everything. And one of the biggest things that I've done is I've dedicated most of my life uh, to uh, volunteer and make mankind better in the best way that I can. From volunteering as a former firefighter in Kittyhawk, North Carolina, to uh, being an NFBAA certified alarm technician for the state of Texas, uh, legal contracts. There's a lot of things I've done in my past and career, and I look forward to bringing that all to the forefront uh, when the uh, here in the uh, California to. Uh, bring the Hollywood industry into the quantum realm. And how is it that people can get a hold of you? Uh, basic, the easiest way to do it is just to Google me. You'll find me in every platform there is, from Twitter to Facebook to Reddit to GitHub to uh, everywhere. I'm on LinkedIn, uh, everywhere. So just uh, uh, probably the easiest way to communicate with me is to get on uh, Facebook, uh, send a direct message, and uh, we'll go from there. 
fantastic. Well, this is Rosalind with KXLA Chow Entertainment, wishing you the best. You can follow me on all social media under the name of Rosalind Khan, saying hallelujah and gratitude beyond words. Namaste. Thank you. Welcome, Rosalind Khan. Hi, this is Rosalind with Chow Entertainment KXLA, Channel 44. So excited to be with you here in beautiful Eagle Rock today, out on the streets and living your best life. Let's introduce Jose Orozco. Jose, how are you doing today? I'm good, Rosalind. How are you? Doing fantastic. So thankful that you were able to make it out here today to talk to the people in the world. So tell us, Jose, what do you do in the world? <laughs> I'm currently a mortgage planning specialist with Nexa Mortgage. I've been doing that for about a year and a half after having spent about 20 years in the corporate finance world. Fantastic. And what made you get into that industry? I realized that I had a bunch of different little talents that I can put together and serve the community better through lending, and I did it. Fantastic. So what would you say is the best thing that you could say to people about investing in the market in today's times? Well, you know, it's there's always a, a downside if you decide to wait to get into the market. But if you really can't afford a home in this market in Southern California, I really suggest my clients say, look, you're out of state. And what kind of states are the best opportunities that people are moving to in these days? You know, the there's a, you know, everybody's talking about Texas and Florida. Some people are talking about Tennessee. Some people are talking about the Dakotas. So those are great, great states to go to. So when we look at that that article that just came in today, came out today, they were talking about California down as the, the the number fours, and there were some Tennessees, but the South Dakotas and the North Dakotas were hitting pretty high. What is it that they have that they were missing here in Southern California? I think they have space, and I think people need space, you know, to just live good lives and build good societies. No, that's that's definitely definitely true. Was this what you always wanted to do when you were young and go, growing up? Uh, and lending? Uh, no, I didn't think I was going to do this, but um, when I was a child, I wanted to be a truck driver or I wanted to be an uh, executive for a car manufacturer. So, wow. You know, there's still time to explore the country, even if it's not in an 18 wheeler. Hey, well, there's always still time to explore. What would you say if you were to recommend to someone who wanted to enter that, that industry? What would you say would be the, the telltale signs that they would need to go ahead and follow? I think you really want to, if you really want to help people make good financial decisions, it's a great industry. But you have to be in it to really help people and give them good advice. Are there certain classes or courses that you need to take, or are there certain entry level jobs that you would have them pursue? Yeah, or if you if you decide to work for for a brokerage, yes, you need to take a certain uh, course and you have to pass a certain test. And uh, depending on the state you live in, there's different uh, testing requirements. You know, I grew up with a family of accountants. Is it like the same thing, like the CPA exam or a doctor exam or anything like that? Or it's, it's not that uh, advanced. No. Wow. But if you have accounting skills and you understand finance, you'll definitely have an edge. Wow. Did any? Was there any particular person who influenced you to, to get in this this field of work? I had a friend that introduced me uh, to it, and um, you know, he made me realize that I could be really good at it. And uh, thank goodness it's going well. And I've, uh, the fact that I speak Spanish really helps because I've developed a good niche in the reverse mortgage market uh, for Spanish speakers. So there's very few loan officers that uh, do reverse mortgages because they're complex products, and even fewer that speak Spanish. So the Spanish-speaking community has been underserved in the reverse mortgage market, and I'm able to close that gap. Oh, that's really awesome. That's really awesome. Now, my favorite question that I like to ask people, you've got a little bit more time here, is if today were the last day, and there were no more, and this would be your last final message you'd say to humanity, what might you offer to them? Uh, build your community. Life is about relationships, about love, and having a network and uh, stay healthy. 
build your build your health. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Gratitude beyond words and namaste. Come and join me for the beautiful sights and sounds of Hawaii. Today, I'll tell you about our world, which we all live, that is consumed by stress. Follow me on my trip to Hawaii, where your stress will melt away. Fresh air. The next time you're upset. This is Roslyn. KXLA, living your best life at the Painted Church in Kona, Hawaii. Make this one of your planned destinations. Gratitude beyond words. Namaste. This is one destination you want to check out and see. Mahalo. Just enjoying the beauty of the flowers at Volcano National Park. Appreciating Mother Nature at its finest. Listen to the gorgeous birds. It's just like paradise, preaching and eating the splendor of the blue sky and all the things you can do. When you go out and appreciate all that life has, how often do we take the time to do that? This is Rosalind wishing you a peaceful day. Namaste. Wishing you the best and peaceful day. Gratitude beyond words. Namaste. <laughs> Here to be enjoying the beauty of the outdoors and nature watching me. 
Here we are on the Desperation Trail. On the other side is the volcano with the beautiful flames coming upward with the steams coming up. But sometimes you need to take what you can and appreciate what you have. Because every day is a blessing from the right to the left. Just remember, life is too short. Take some time and enjoy. As we look to the right, I can enjoy and appreciate the beauty of the wonderful orange flowers. And on the other side is a decomposition. And yet, there's actually new life going ahead and coming up on the other side. What are you reaching for? Tune in to Living Your Best Life with Rosalind Khan at KXLA Channel Entertainment. And next week, we will see you there.